So when I went out to URA, um, my main focus was on enjoying the weekend, which I did. It was a great time. Um, so you may notice that a lot of my camera footage is inside the truck. Um, unfortunately, that's not the best for YouTube, but the reason why is for a few reasons. First one is, as I said, I was trying to enjoy myself this weekend and not stress about putting out cameras and figuring out the best shots for everything. Um, the other thing too is I was trying not to disturb other people. It gets really busy out there. So I didn't put the drone up as much as I thought. Um, there was a lot of traffic out on the trails, so I was trying not to stop and put out cameras on tripods and stuff like that and disturb other people. The other reason too is that um, I only took a certain amount of storage space with me. So I took a laptop with me with like 80 gigs free, which I thought was gonna be plenty, but it wasn't even close. Um, and then I brought some extra thumb drives that I had a really hard time transferring on stuff onto. I actually started running out of room really quickly. So the next few days, um, I had to be more selective about exactly what I was recording. And it's a pain to put the camera on top of the truck or outside the truck and then, you know, have to turn it back on and off and on and off and on and off. So it was much easier just putting it on the dashboard. When I saw something interesting, I'd click it on, record it for a little bit, and then turn it back off again. Um, so that is why 90% of the footage from that weekend, probably more than that, um, is inside the dashboard. I know it's not the best, um, so I apologize for that. So I'm gonna do everything I can to try and make it interesting. I'm gonna do some voiceovers and stuff when I get out of the truck looking at things to try to explain what I was doing. I got some feedback from the second part where I kept getting out of the truck, but it was just dead silent in front inside the truck. So I'm gonna do some voiceovers and stuff like that to try and explain what's going on in those situations. But I appreciate the support and hopefully you guys do enjoy what I got and there'll be lots more to come in the future. Thanks. At this point, Jason went in front so he could watch out for obstacles, and Alex and I went behind him um, so that we can keep the guy we were trying to recover in the middle, and that way we could help him get out of situations when we needed to. So most of the trail we were good, but we hit a couple of spots where he needed some help. So we would get out and put out the recovery boards and try to get him out of those situations. I was concerned that he high centered it at this point. High centering is when uh, you get the center of the vehicle on a rock and all the tires are not touching the ground. It's really difficult to get out of. We would have had to pull him out of there and that could potentially cause damage to his vehicle.
So at this point, we weren't putting out recovery boards to try and get him out of situations. It was trying to prevent situations. So if we ran into an obstacle with large divots or dips in it, we would put out the recovery boards to try to stop him from getting stuck in those situations. Should I gun it? <laughs> Do you want your gray shirt to be brown? <laughs> he said the guy behind us isn't in a huge rush. Okay. So we can just keep going, going if you want. Okay. Yeah. I'm impressed with this little traverse is doing. Jason, he needs more gas, more throttle. He keeps hitting the brakes. Yeah, huh? he's probably not used to this at all. No. He doesn't just need more throttle? Uh-huh. No, there's a big hole. Oh, all right. I'm glad I bought those. It gives them a safety blanket. Yeah. Well, and I've used them plenty of times. Did he? Well, he's getting a crash course in off-roading. What's that? 
said, I know I said something like it before, but should we push him? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know. The issue is that it always powers in his front wheel. Yeah, it is. So at this point he was struggling to get over this obstacle. Um, he kept losing traction and what he was doing was every time he'd start to make some momentum I think he was getting scared so he'd get on the brakes again and stop. Um, he'd even turn the vehicle off and get out at some points, you'll notice that. So at this point we got out and tried to help him in various different ways. We weren't sure if it was front wheel drive or all wheel drive. So I kept putting the recovery board behind his rear tire, thinking that would help, it really didn't. Um, and we also tried pushing the vehicle, which ultimately was what helped this situation. When you see the smoke come out of the front tires, that's because he's spinning his tires on my recovery boards um, and it melts the plastic and actually causes smoke. So you wanna be careful with your recovery boards when you're using them to use them at be very delicate with the throttle because if you spin the tires too much, you defeat the purpose, they won't get cra traction, so. Good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We had some traffic backing up behind us, some Jeeps and stuff. So we ended up pulling over to the side up here so that we could let them by. And at that point, I took the lead. So I went up ahead um, while the rest of them caught up to me because we really didn't have many more difficult obstacles at this point.
I had to go through the big mud puddle. I think we confused him. Yeah, he took a sec to look. <laughs> Every time I see a mud puddle, I have to go through it. It's a compulsion, um, especially when they're big. So I pulled to the right here and went through that big mud puddle, and we confused the guy that we were trying to help get off the trail because me and Alex both went through that mud puddle, so he thought there was a huge obstacle on the dirt road part that he was supposed to go around, but he figured it out and didn't go through the mud puddle. We stopped here for lunch and there was a sheep herder nearby, so we stayed and watched the, the dogs running around herding the sheep around. 